Example two. A wallet contains 42 one, five, and ten dollar bills. The value of all the bills is $135. There are five times as many one dollar bills as ten dollar bills, and you want to find the number of bills of each denomination. Again, I know the answer to one of these. Let x be the number of ten dollar bills. Then the number of one dollar bills is five times that, or five x. And the wallet contains 42 bills, including how many $5 bills? Well, I'm not sure. However, I know how many uh, $1 bill, how many $10 bills, and uh, how many $5 bills. Well, if I subtract 6x from both sides, it will be 42 minus 6x. That many $5 bills. And if I put it in a nice little table, I have the denomination of the coins, the number of coins, the value of each coin. Or was it dollars? It was dollars, I think. Dollar bills. And the total value of each of them. Now, the total value of the coins is $135. The, uh, if I add all of these, I get the value. Add these three numbers here. Distribute, collect like terms, subtract 210 from both sides, divide by negative 15, and you get x, which is 5. So the number of $10 bills was 5, the number of $5 bills was 12, and the number of $1 bills is 25. Now let's take a look at example 3. Actually, you can take a breather.